Come on up, and then I want to call Superintendent Gray, who I see arrived. So, Go ahead. Good evening. My name is Sammy Black. Um, I'm an organizer with Portland Tenants United as well. I'm married, have three kids. I have three advanced degrees, two professional jobs. Still, my family is one more rent increase away from being priced out of the city with no savings to afford the move. If we are struggling with all of our privileges, which I acknowledge openly here, I ask you to think about how so many others are getting by. Literally, you have done nothing to protect or stabilize tenants since we were here in October when you passed the 90-day ordinance. <clears throat> The housing crisis in the city has only deepened and widened. This is what a city in decline looks like. You can do better. We are here with Li Living Cully to ask for the 1.5 million to help purchase the land underneath the Oak Leaf Mobile Home Park to prevent another mass displacement. Besides being a moral imperative, let me remind you that your mandate in public office is to maintain a healthy city, not just for developers, landlords, and homeowners. It also is to maintain <clears throat> Excuse me. It also makes good economic sense. Many of the Oak Leaf residents will be pushed out onto the street, and the cost of their homelessness will be far greater. Stabilizing tenants in their homes is preventative care. We understand this takes more revenue. How about raising the business tax for the first time since 1977, if my figures are correct? When it comes to your commitment to addressing houselessness, a displacement prevented is a shelter bed not needed. In this flood, how about you turn off the faucet before reaching for yet another mop? As a member of Portland Tenants United, I'm here to join Living Cully, Street Roots, and the Community Alliance of Tenants in their budget asks. And allow me to emphasize that these, are, these asks are a low bar for the city to maintain even the current level of crisis. A no to these asks represents a vote to deepen the housing crisis. And as a PTU member, I ask you to go beyond these asks and to publish a tenant's budget, which could begin the process of actually resolving the housing and houselessness crisis, not just maintaining the status quo of eviction, exposure, and displacement. A tenant's budget would most certainly contain many of the tenant's protections detailed in our resolution, which we've submitted previously, and must begin with an immediate rent freeze and a moratorium on no-cause eviction. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks.